Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Julia here from English Prep Class. How are you doing? How is, how is it going from your end? In today's video, I'll be talking about how to crack the PTE in the first attempt. Yeah. Now, I've had students that have tried the PTE for the first time and they actually passed with flying colors. Now, these students might not have also written the IELTS or any other English exam. They just heard of the PTE and they heard it's a lot easier than the other English tests and they jumped on it and they had a few days of training, they wrote the exam and they passed with perfect scores. That is those scores that they really need either for their migration or for their study. Now stay with me. Let's get into this video and see how you can crack your PTE in the first attempt. So the first things first you need to know is have a good understanding of this exam. PTE is one of the numerous or one of the several English language exam that is available. Do you want to migrate to Australia, especially Australia or New Zealand, then PTE is one of the English tests that you need to write or it's actually recommended. It comes in highly recommended by most migration agents um, because I think it's because it's easier for you to navigate your way around the sessions or around the modules. You know, one thing I like about the PTE is that its course is actually integrated, unlike some other um, English exam. Now, I want to break down that word or I want to unpack that word integrated. It simply means that if you're starting with a speaking session, the speaking session will have a way of making you pass the reading. It will also have a way of making you pass the listening. Now, for some other English exams, you can't have um, any other module or any other section helping you pass the other session. So thumbs up for the PTE for having this kind of wonderful idea for people to pass their exam. Now, that being said, how can I crack my PTE in my first attempt? So understand the concepts, understand everything about this exam. I think you should take your time to study this exam. We'll ask questions questions, check on Google, go to their website, check all you need to know. If you, you're not getting all the relevant information, you can ask a tutor. I'm here and many other of us are there on YouTube and on Instagram can ask us questions on how you can pass the PTE or what the PTE is about. I think knowing the exam or understanding the concept of the exam is the first thing you need to do. That gives you an advantage over someone that just jumps into it and doesn't know where to start from or where to go to. So knowing the exam, understanding what this exam is about will help you. And, and it is a computer-based exam. That means that you're going to be writing it with the help of a computer. Yeah, so it means that while you're practicing, you have to have a good headset. Yeah, because the, the headset makes you, um, a kind of picks your voice and puts it back to, or records it for you in the computer. So have it at the back of your mind that this is a computer-based exam. Now that being said, or yeah, having heard this, what else do you need to know? Now the PT has 20 different question types. You have to understand the most important questions. Now, like I said, the PTE is integrated. So that simply means that there are some tasks that can help you pass the other task. You need to know what these tasks are. That way, it makes it easier for you to know where to start from. Now, there are four modules in the exam, the speaking, the writing, the reading, and the listening. If you know that there are four modules, you have to also know the different tasks that make up these modules. Now, let's look at the most important tasks that you need to focus on as you proceed with this PTE. Now, the first of them is the reader aloud. That is actually the first task in the speaking and the first task in the exam that you would see. Now, this task is important. Now, I think when it comes to PTE, when they're trying to talk about most important, they're simply trying to say the contribution of that task to the entire exam. So the read aloud is one task that will help you pass the speaking and to also contribute good scores to your reading. So if you want to pass the reading module, you should also start from the read aloud. Then we'll have the repeat sentence, which is the second task in the speaking. It's also a very important task, extremely essential if you want to pass. So if you, if you want to pass the speaking, if you want to pass the listening, then the repeat sentence is an important task that you need to focus on. Now that repeat sentence will contribute like 40 to 45 marks to your listening. So if you want to pass the listening, begin from speaking, the task repeat sentence. We're also going to look at reading and writing, filling the blanks. This is the first task in the PTE reading. And this task will help you um, so much to uh, pass your reading. 
is important because, like I said, it contributes a lot of scores to the exam. Then we'll have the um, write from dictation. This is the last task in the exam and it can help you pass. You don't have to joke with this task. These tasks are really important because they will help boost your scores across the other module. Now that write from dictation will help you pass writing. It will actually give you more scores in the writing than the listening where it belongs. Remember, it belongs to the listening. Sometimes people look at tasks like listening fill in the blanks. Sometimes people talk about read other paragraphs. Sometimes people talk about the essays. Now, prior to this time, I had done a video in the past where I talked about the, uh, the PTE tasks. I rated them as most important, important and just less important, you know. Now, all of them are PTE tasks. We have over 20 different PTE questions, okay. Now, all of them do not all have the same marks. So that's why you hear me say these ones are important because they contribute a lot of marks to the exam. Now, you have to consider the speaking module. I did a video recently on speaking. Speaking is important. You can see that no other module contributes scores to speaking. That simply shows you that speaking is chief. No wonder is the first module in the exam. So for a task like the speaking or for a module like the speaking, you really have to know what to do. Now, if you've tried, um, if you've tried practicing on your own and you're still not getting a good score, then that is where we come in. Um, so I bring you up to speed in my class and I, I also send you some recordings so that you can play it and listen to the speed, listen to the pace, the tone. That helps you when you practice yours, okay? Now, these are the things that you need to do. It is possible to crack the PTE in the first attempt. You just need a little guidance. You can actually do it on your own or you can um, get the help of a tutor, okay? There are a lot of videos on YouTube that shows you what to do to pass your PTE. Now, if you have any question at all, you can leave it in the comment section for me. Uh, now, this brings it to the end of this video. Uh, please put a like to this video. It actually pushes this video forward to more people that need it. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you to every of my returning subscribers. And thank you to everyone that keeps watching my video. I really appreciate you. Bye.